Hello for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip. We've been looking at Fritz 13 over the last several videos. All these new features involving the Fritz 13 Let's Check server, a worldwide community of users who are using chess engines to analyze chess positions. Also, humans that are writing comments to chess positions, as we saw in the last video, and how you can contribute using Fritz 13. Well, these cool new features encourage you to accumulate a great number of chess engines, to experiment with them, mess around with them, compare their analysis, etc. And after a while, if you're like me, you wind up with a whole lot of them. If you go to the Engine tab, you can either click on Change Main Engine or hit the F3 key on the keyboard, and it will bring up a list of all of your engines that you have available. Now, as we've seen way back when in previous Fritz videos, you can download uh, various engines online. You can get some free engines like Shannon and Touring and some old versions of Comet and a few others from the Chessbase website. You can also purchase engines. For example, I have a number of Ribka engines that I've purchased. I have a couple of versions of Hyarks on here. Uh, of course, multiple versions of Fritz that I bought. And there are a ton of free engines all over the Internet that follow the Universal Chess Interface Protocol that you can import directly into Fritz by using the Create UCI Engine button, as, again, we've seen in previous videos. After all, you wind up with a lot, a lot of engines, which is cool. Except for one problem, that is when you're looking for a particular engine, you have to scroll up and down the list and try to pick out that one engine that you're looking for. Also, as new versions of engines are released, you may find yourself not using older engines anymore. For example, here we have a whole long list of crafties, various versions of the crafty engine. I don't think I've used 1901 in ages, so do I really need it? Well, the question is, do you want to go out there and delete it? Or maybe at some later time, I might want to have a chess engine tournament on my computer in which Crafty, various versions of Crafty, might be the only participants. So I don't really want to delete it. I just don't want to see it in this list anymore. So is there a way to kind of mask it so I don't see it in this list? The answer is, yes, you can. I'm going to show you how. That's the topic of this video. If you go, we'll cancel out of this, if you go to the engine menu, go to the far left, and here's a button that says engine management. It allows you to activate and deactivate engines. We'll click on engine management and we'll get this display. We see active and inactive engines. Presently I have no inactive engines. All you're doing is moving an engine from one list to the other and if an engine is on the inactive list, it does not appear in your long scrolling list of engines. So, for example, if I'm not using Crafty 1901 right now, I'm not going to be using it for a while, but at some later time I feel that I might want to, so I don't want to delete it from my hard drive. I don't want to get rid of it totally. I could just click on Crafty 1901 and go to this button. It has two arrows pointing to the right, meaning that this engine is going to go from active to inactive. So I click the button. There we go. It goes to inactive engines. Now if I click OK, punch the F3 key again, and we scroll up to Crafty, we see that 1901 is no longer listed there. We do have a 1919. So we'll go back to engine management. We'll come down here, Crafty 1919. We'll slide that over to inactive as well. Click OK. Go to our scrolling list of engines, scroll up to the crafties, and now we don't have any crafty 19 anythings showing in our list of available engines. We haven't deleted it, we've just remo removed it from this list. It's just gone from this list, but it's still on the hard drive. It can still be used if I really want it, and the way you do it is reverse the process. Go to engine management. If I want Crafty 1901 back in my list of engines, I just click on it in the inactive engine list and click the other button that has two arrows pointing to the left, meaning I'm going to move it from inactive engines on the right to active engines on the left. I just click on 1901, click on this button. Now it's moved over to here. We can scroll down and see it. Crafty 1901. Click OK. Check our engine list again. 
and there she is crafty 1901 is now an available chess engine so as I said, if you go online, you download a lot of chess engines. There are a lot of people out there that program them as non-commercial engines. There's a bunch of them out there that people give away. They program them. They're interested in your feedback, your ideas on their engines. So they make it available to the public and for whatever reason. And put it out there, and you can download them. And there are a lot of them. And again, there's a big, long list here that I've accumulated and input into my Fritz 13. As I said, a lot of these... Don't use them that much. Use them for a while. You decide, eh, you know, it's kind of interesting, but I don't need it very much, or it's an older version of, of an engine, whatever it happens to be. Once again, if you don't want to delete them from the hard drive, you just want to get them off the list to make your list a little shorter, just use Engine Management. In the Engine menu, go to the far left, click Engine Management, get this dialog, click on a particular chess engine, Move it to the inactive engine list. That way you're kind of just putting it on a shelf for later. If you decide you want to use it at a later time, it's still there. You're not deleting it from the hard drive. You're just removing it from your scrolling list of engines that you choose from when you're going to pick an engine to use on the Let's Check server or to play against or to analyze with, whatever it happens to be. Till next time, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.